Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And if it's not, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I'm transforming three thrift store items into absolute beauties. So let's get started. I found two candlesticks at the thrift store. They were gold and wooden, and I glued some of these floor protectors. Back in the days, you used to put them underneath your sofa legs. So I glued them together, and I'm using a color that I bought um, at Home Depot. It's from Bear. It's a beautiful aqua color, and I'm gonna apply two coats of paint to these candle holders. Now that my candle holders are nice and dry, I'm taking a sanding sponge and I'm distressing a little bit and smoothing this paint as well. And I am a big fan of distress paint, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm using a rag just to get rid of all the dust in these candle holders. And my next step is going to be to dry brush some of my white Rust-Oleum chalk paint and uh, apply that um, to my candle holders. Now you can go as little or as much as you like. This all depends on the style and the look that you want. These were so easy to create and look at the result. These are absolutely fabulous. They turned out really nice. I'm loving the distressed look with the white brush paint on them. It gives it a really nice firm house look. I got this cute little frame. So the first thing I was doing here is giving it a coat of white chalk paint and then I realize I'm using the wrong paint I want this to be in the aqua color uh, the same as the candle so I went ahead and give it two coats of aqua on top of the white I have these beautiful dragonfly napkins on hand I've used them in another project before and it was so popular that I decided to use it again so I'm simply going to cut around the dragonfly carefully after I'm done cutting these dragonfly I want to make sure that I remove all the ply from the back of the dragonfly. I've made a mistake before where I left plies on the back and uh, it's not pleasant. So sometimes they have one ply, sometimes they have two. So you have to uh, really pay attention to that part.
So here is my little frame all painted in aqua and I'm simply dry brushing some of this white paint um, over the frame. You put as little or as much as you like for the look that you want and I have no particular directions that I'm putting in upside down, sideways um, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this on. Now I'm speed drying this paint just so that I can go ahead and move along in my project. I'm using my Mod Podge in a matte finish and I'm going to go ahead and completely cover um, the um, little frame with the Mod Podge. This is a small project and it's a small uh, design so I'm going to go ahead and apply Mod Podge all over it. I'm carefully placing my dragonfly in place and I'm simply dabbing the dragonfly with my brush. Once this is dry, I'm going to give two more coats of my Mod Podge. And here is my little frame completed. How cute is this little frame and not to mention how easy it was to give it a brand new look. I absolutely love the result. I got this really cute teapot. It's a garden uh, looking teapot and I'm using the same color as on the candle holders and I'm simply going to paint the middle part um, of this beautiful teapot and uh, as I'm painting along um, I'm realizing that I can see the bump of the painted flowers um, on coming like through the paint so what I'm doing now is just wiping that off a little bit and then using a sand block and sand the most of this paint just to bring a smoother um, surface. Now I'm wiping that dust off and I'm gonna go ahead and use my hair dryer and dry this area so I can go ahead and finish painting. I gave two coats of paint to this teapot and it's looking really good. So now I'm using the same technique as the candle holder and the frame and I'm going to dry brush some of my white linen chalk paint um, to the teapot.
when I'm dry brushing something on a surface I usually go every direction like up and down and sideways and whatnot and makes it uh, so much more rustic looking so I love doing uh, this for this technique As you seen earlier, I have already pre-cut my dragonfly and now I'm using my Mod Podge to apply this um, dragonfly to my teapot. And I always use the matte finish for my Mod Podge. I don't like anything shiny. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the dragonfly the way I like it in the front of my teapot and start applying this Mod Podge section by section. It makes it so much easier when you're not working on a flat surface. As you can see here, I'm just dabbing my paintbrush over the dragonfly very lightly and slowly just to make sure I don't damage the napkin. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm gonna apply two more coat of Mod Podge, allowing to dry in between. I'm just realizing that there is a plastic container inside this teapot uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and it's a little bit dirty so give it a really good cleaning and I'm also uh, when I'm done with this going to paint the inside of this teapot as well And here is the final result. I've had it some beautiful greenery to the teapot and that white brush does such a nice finish to this teapot. I absolutely love the result.
Well, that's it for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed these project. These were so easy, but the result is fantastic. I'm in love with all of these three projects. This is the perfect touch for spring and summer decor. And I love the rustic farmhouse look that it has. If you like this video, please give me the big thumbs up. I want to hear all your comments as usual in the comments down below. And if you like this video and you like what I'm doing and you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel yet, well, right now is a perfect time to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, folks, you have yourself a wonderful day.